This week, one of our producer's kids, Blakely, was watching the remake of the Magic School Bus show on Netflix. And Ms. Frizzle was telling the kids about invasive species and the damage they can do to native species and the habitats they invade. And Ms. Frizzle's lessons reminded our producer of an email that we got from the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife recently. It talked about an invasive species that was found in a tropical plant recently sold at a nursery in the Beaverton area. Check it out. This is a Cuban tree frog. Right now, the state is calling it non-native and potentially invasive. They sent out a warning to all nursery plant retailers and to customers to inspect products for these critters and to let ODFW know if you find one. This is actually the second time the species has entered the state through the supply chain. The first time was in 2021 when two of the frogs were also found in nursery plants. A lot of invasive species uh, get moved around through cargo containers, plant species, humans moving it around, and you never know which one will actually do some damage in Oregon or other places in the United States. Uh, fortunately, the Cuban tree frog is not one that at this time will be invasive, but it's in this area where it's been invasive in Florida, it's now moving north, so with climate change, it could potentially become invasive at one time in Oregon. Okay, still a long ways away though, but Boatner says the species could possibly survive here in the summer months, but likely would not live through the cold, damp winter. But with climate change, as he mentioned, they are preparing for potential negative effects from these frogs. This one, if ever got established in Oregon, they are, they'll, are they're what are called gap feeders. So if it can fit in the mouth, they're going to eat it, which means could be our native frogs, uh, small birds, small lizards. Uh, you know, if it can fit, they'll, they'll eat it. So they can be a predator on our native species, uh, similar to bullfrogs that we already have established in Oregon. And it's not just native species and habitats to worry about. The Cuban tree frogs can secrete a mucus that irritates your eyes and nose. It can also cause allergy-like symptoms that can be severe. A lot of amphibians uh, re secrete uh, a mucus for defense. You know, even our rough skin newt, which is native, will secrete uh, this mucus, and that's mainly to make them distasteful. So the predator will let them go. Uh, but if somebody's allergic to it, it could cause a bad reaction, uh, similar to if somebody was allergic to a bee sting. That doesn't sound fun. So if you find a Cuban tree frog or what you think might be a Cuban tree frog, do not release it into the wild, they tell us. Get in touch instead with ODFW by calling the Oregon Invasive Species Hotline. That's 1-866-INVADER or by visiting OregonInvasivesHotline.org. We'll keep that info at the bottom of the screen for you for the rest of the segment. And much like a criminal bounty back in the Old West, Rick Boatner says the critter can be identified dead or alive. If they can keep it alive, that's fine. Uh, one is to take good pictures of it to send us. Fuzzy pictures make it difficult to ID. And you want to, ID, you know, when you take photographs of it, you know, you want to take the back, the head, the stomach area. Those all can help us ID what the species is. Uh, dead species work too. You can turn it into us, and that way we have it in hand, so that even makes it easier to ID. Bodner says if live specimens are turned in, they generally have to euthanize the creature. In the case of this most recent tree frog, the person who found it decided, you know, kind of cute and cuddly, I'm going to make it a pet, which Boatner says is pretty good result for the Cuban frog. He says making pets of invasive species can be an option depending on the risk of the species flourishing here. There's very specific criteria for low, medium and high risk. And right now the Cuban tree frog is considered low risk. But Ms. Frizzle from the Magic School Bus and Rick Boatner agree invasive species are not to be taken lightly. Some of these species, once they get here, there's nothing we can do about it. So it's difficult. Uh, to do control or eradication. We're not, we don't have silver bullets for everything now. Interesting stuff. All right.